Hello! Hello! Welcome to Mirage Game Studios. My name is Toby, I am community guy and lead artist. And I'm Simon, I'm the game director here at Mirage Game Studios, and we're here to talk about Space for Sale, uh, our upcoming game about building homes in space. So for those who don't uh, know the game or have seen it yet, Space for Sale is a creative sandbox game about creating plots and homes on weird and fun planets. So we announced the game about a month ago uh, with a trailer uh, just before Gamescom. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, check it out right here. Everywhere. And yeah, since then we've been dumping questions on us on the, all the channels like Discord, um, Facebook, uh, Steam forums, everywhere. So we gathered up some of these so we can give you a first view or get into the details of what the game is about. So, shall we kick it off? Hit it! First question, will there be multiplayer? There will be multiplayer. Uh, so we do plan to have uh, multiplayer with a few players, so it's going to be a co-op kind of thing, where you can invite a few friends to, to join your server and join your world, so to speak. So you can create stuff together and you can, you can make a coast little homes for aliens with friends. So the last clip with the guy in the trailer, that's your buddy. That's, that's, your, buddy. that's your friend, Ooh. right there, in the game, at the same time. Cool. Alright, so here are a few quick ones. Will there be local co-op or online only? Oh, it's going to be online only. Do we have any plans for a mobile port? Very unlikely. No, don't think we'll make a mobile port. And do we have a release date? Absolutely not. <laughs> no release date. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though, nice try. So, well it's arguably the most asked question all over the internet. Is it going to be a console release? So the answer here is probably. It's quite likely we'll make a console release for it. Um, <laughs> so we're making it for PC for starters. We do have it planned for PC only for the release. But uh, unlike the previous game, we do have consoles in mind from the get-go. So we are making it console compatible or much more easy to port later on. So already we do have gamepad support for it. And we do have... We just do have it in mind. So with, with the previous game, we had to more or less redo the whole game. Or together with a company actually who did it for us. Massive mini team, shout out. You guys rock! <laughs> Will you offer beta keys? Um, probably. We don't plan to do like a you know, traditional early access thing where we let everyone in early and, and you sort of pay for a half broken game. So we do plan to have uh, testing weekends and that sort of thing. So for sure, we'll let you know ahead of time when you can sign up for them. Join our Discord. <gasps> Link in the description. And our question that has been popping around the old internet is Will you be able to trade planets? <laughs> like, like with players or trade in game or do what? What's I the think the essence of the question is Will there be a meta component to the multiplayer? No, I don't think so. No. So the idea is you, you invite a friend to join your world and you, you stay in your solar system and, and work together. We don't plan any sort of trading or meta game on top of this, so no MMO things. It's, it's more like a like a story mode or campaign or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's more about being creative with your friends in a small local area. So you can you can build build stuff together. That's that's the gist of it. How big is a planet? Mm, quite huge. <laughs> it's um, we do. I mean, technically they can be even larger than we do. We probably will need them to be. I think less interesting than the amount of square feet you can play on is how much content will there be and what can you do with it. Because I think there's been many games lately where you have lots of procedural space and nothing fun to do in it. So and we'd rather keep the space smaller but more varied and interesting. So in a word, lagom. Lagom. Can we fly to different planets? Fly, fly how? I think the question is, will it be like real-time travel? Ah, so like you take off and then you go. And, uh, yeah, um, no, probably not. Uh, you, we do have several planets, and you can you can build on all of them, and they have their own distinct themes and things you can do on them. There will probably be spaceships and some cool animations and stuff, but no, no, no real-time thing. We don't, we don't think we need it really. It's going to be fun enough on the surface, so you know. Will all constructions be of the property development variety? Or will there be additional base buildings or other types of facilities and structures? So, yes and yes. We do have uh, sort of two categories of buildings in the game. So you do have the base building stuff, which is the things you create for your own sake. So you build uh, like crafting stations and buildings where you can convert stuff or collect resources and that sort of thing. Uh, and then you have the plots which is the stuff you build to sort of complete the game, and which is the sort of goal of everything. So 
those are the things where you build houses and you make plots and you make uh, sort of support structures for them or, or like daycares and that sort of thing. And so these two modes are going to feed into each other. So you're going to make a base where you do can create all this cool stuff. Then you build the plot, you sell it, it, it will give you like credits or something that will make you improve your base. Mm. And then you can make cooler plots. It goes round, <laughs> round, 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 round. How many aliens are there? Uh, depends on what you mean by alien, but we do have, uh, we in the game, in a sense, we are the aliens in the game, because you sort of land on this fun planet where you can do stuff. But so there's at least one. There's, yeah, you are the alien. Um, but yeah, the alien clients in the game, there's going to be a few archetypes of them. So these are sort of intelligent beings that want to do human-like stuff. They want houses and so on. But then beyond that, we do have lots of creatures, which are more like uh, I mean, animal-like things. And they are going to be a bunch, we don't have a number on it, but it's going to be a whole lot of them on the, on the planets. And we really want these animals and creatures to be interesting. We don't want, just want them to be like background critters or, you know, just decorations. It's a huge part of the game for us. We want the creatures to be fun to interact with and want them to be diverse. So they are going to be what gives the planets their personality. And you're going to get to know them and their unique quirks, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Same goes with the clients. Um, mm. They are different species and they require different things. Yeah, yeah. sort of. The, some of them are science oriented, some are, you know, traditional families with two kids. And they all ask for different things. And you, you have to supply this and try to make it work for each of the clients. Is there crafting or farming? And in that case, what's the purpose of it? Uh, there is crafting for sure. You can you can use resources and you can make new stuff out of it. So you can you can collect stuff in the world. You can bring it home to your base and then you can put some science on it and you can learn new things and do new stuff. Uh, I don't think we have like traditional farming like Stardew Valley farming where you sort of make a little pot and then you water it and you get something out of it. But there are you definitely engage with the vegetation so to speak. The essence of farming, I guess, is uh, we don't want you to be at the same place the entire gameplay session. We want you to explore and move around and get from one planet to the next. So in that sense, the farming element isn't really what we're going for. No, no, I think it's uh, we're focusing more on being creative and, and building houses and plots and stuff. So hmm. I think a classic sort of uh, water your plants kind of system would, would tie you down too much in time. So we want you to be more active in the world and walk around and do stuff. Can you build plots anywhere? 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 More or less, you could you could build pretty much anywhere on the surface. You can't build on the water or in in the air, I suppose. You could be, build pretty much anywhere, but the challenge is going to be about where they put the plots. There's sort of like a strategy or puzzle element to it, where you find the best spots. So families don't want to live next to raptors. Nope. But a you scientist should. might want to. Yeah, and there there are some you know hostile weird aliens which enjoy dangerous things. Yeah. Yeah. So sure, they're, they're quite different, and uh, what works for one client might not work for the other one. Can you kill clients if they become too annoying? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess. Uh, accidents do happen. <laughs> I don't, we don't have a kill your client system, but uh, I suppose you could get creative. <laughs> and that's all we have for today. We intend to make more videos like this, so if you have any additional questions, just send them to us and you might get featured in the next video. Like this! We, we plan to show you more stuff in the future as well, not just Q&A. So uh, next video might be about procedural or maybe some creature behind the scenes stuff. Well, we're not sure yet, but uh, send in your questions and your wishes for what you'd like to see and we'll, we'll get back to you in the future. Stay tuned. See you next time.